Hi guys, it's MC Career Truth. And today I want to talk a bit about this lady, <laughs> the Great British Bird, or as I call her, the Great British Fowl. A uh, bit of a play on words. Because if you've ever watched uh, my coverage on her, it will show how in her videos uh, she has quite a foul mouth. She's quite a unsavory, unpleasant um, presenter of, of, of her content. Um, way back when, when I covered her, she was claiming to work for Charlie Ward, who, by the way, uh, seems to want nothing more to do with her. Uh, Donald Trump uh, and be a part of the Trump team. She claimed that she had quantum technology and she could find out who I was. And this is where the big kind of inside joke, I say inside joke, it's not really an inside joke anymore, uh, came from where she claimed she knew who I was and uh, she, I know who you are, Paul. And she called me Paul, which is not my name. And uh, she claimed that I'd worked for some some agency, some, uh, I presume, three-letter agency. And she, she claimed she knew exactly who I worked for and it's a good agency, and uh, I mean, I could go on, but yeah, basically, in a nutshell, she came onto my Telegram group and berated everyone on there and said, where is MCka? you know, and he's covering up for Matt, Matt Hancock, <laughs> and, you know, he's, he's, he's working covering up for, um, you know, the P word, uh, P, Peter, what, Peter who, Peter File. It's a uh, <laughs> file, Peter at Hotmail.com. File Peter. Uh, why File Peter? Well, File is my second name. Oh, right, I see. Uh, Peter File. Who's a paedophile? <laughs> no, no. His name is Peter File. His name is paedophile. Don't say it like that. <laughs> it sounds like paedophile. Isn't that what he just said? No. Peter File. Paedophile. Peter File. Who's a paedophile? No one. <laughs> Um, claiming that I was covering up for them and beca all because I'd exposed Charlie Ward, which I did <laughs> very well expose and continued to do so, exposed Charlie Ward, who was her boss, she claimed at the time. And she never, she doesn't claim that anymore. I mean, after <laughs> after I did my, um, my analysis and expose on Claire Cocking Oakle or the Great British Bird, um, she she seemed to have seized all of her previous assertions, which is, was that she was in charge of emptying out the UK dumbs, deep underground mil military bases of children, right? And that she was in charge of a team of US Navy SEALs. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> US Navy SEALs are on, on, on UK turf. Um, emptying these these dumbs uh, in the name of Donald Trump and his administration and Charlie Ward, her boss. Um, it, it sounds ridiculous uh, because it is <laughs> utterly ridiculous. And I pointed that out at the time. So I, I had no intention, you know, I had no intention of, of really looking into this lady and exposing how ridiculous the whole thing was. But after I exposed Charlie Ward, she came into my telegram, as I said, and berated everyone and uh, and started calling me this, that and the other. I work for these people. Uh, my name is Paul. Uh, and, and it went on. And, and guys, go back and I'll leave links in the description and, and see that whole story. Now, after I did that expose, I, yeah, she no longer carried on with that narrative that she was emptying out the UK dumbs. Um, she no longer talked about me. She no longer ever, like talked about Charlie Ward because he blanked her because of the utter embarrassment of, <laughs> or, or, you know, how badly I exposed and debunked this whole thing. Uh, she claimed she had quantum technology, uh, as I said, and, 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 and could find out where any of us were, not just me, uh, and find out who we worked for. It, the whole thing was ridiculous. Not only that, the US Navy SEALs that she said that she, you know, she controlled a team of, um, she said there's a bunch of them over six foot hanging around London ready to rape my ass, uh, apparently, right? I can do my job, which is get these motherfuckers sorted and get these dumbs emptied, which is where I step in with my team. And just in case anybody's uh, MI5 that's named Paul, that's been hounding uh, one of Charlie Ward's family, just in case you're watching on here, we have your names. We know where you live. We know everything about you. Paul, who you know we know who you are, okay? 
let's just remember we know who you're working for paul okay we know who you're working for and your organization is a fucking great organization and you're a little shit fucking scrot that's in it that's not going to be in it for long are you so you go targeting the person with the letter c anymore and i'm going to show you i'm going to rip you a new fucking arsehole and i'm telling you i fucking will i don't need to do it i've got bunches of fucking guys over six foot five hanging around in london that will just rape your ass as soon as they look at you your choice you decide uh, by the way I, I never had any navy seals turn up and, and do anything to me <laughs> thankfully <laughs> but i knew that wouldn't happen because she was full of crap so <clears throat> what's happened since then her youtube channel went down uh, obviously because she was talking a lot of crap her youtube channel went down um no, no surprise and um she then stuck to uh, she did a couple other platforms she worked with madison marquette uh, for a while, uh, and uh, she also a shill who I have also exposed, uh, especially through uh, 12 Reasons I Don't Trust Madison Marquette, which you can find again in the description. But they had a ma massive falling out, and that was because Madison Marquette was raising fundraisers with Claire, and uh, Madison Marquette was keeping the money in her bank account. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, you know, Claire's team, rightfully so, uh, and, and kudos for this, said, you know, this needs to go to the charity, not your bank account. So... Um, but that aside, uh, you know, after all this happened, she didn't do any, you know, she didn't carry on that narrative anymore. It was destroyed, debunked completely. And and um, it would seem a lot of the people that were following her at the time, um, you know, stopped following her. Uh, thankfully, you know, it worked. <laughs> Griff busting works. You know, the, 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 what I do, what others do uh, in this realm works. It helps people. People then wake up and go, OK. This person is full of it. Uh, one of the main things with this lady is um, she talks a lot and does a lot of, you know, a lot of her content, her research, her work is around survivors of satanic ritual abuse um, and child trafficking. So that, that you know, pulls on the heartstrings of a lot of people and they tend to want to believe, you know, and it's, it's a similar story to Madison Marquette and all the others. They want to believe that, that there's people out there like her, renegades doing this, emptying dumbs of children, whatever. Um, and, and that, you know, that unfortunately um, dupes a lot of people because they, they want to believe that's happening. So that was then. That was then. She was fully exposed. She then cowered away into her telegram, which was her kind of main where her main following was. And she had multiple groups. And that's what she's been doing since then. That was that was back in uh, early 2020 when she was saying all those things. And, you know, we, we are what late 2022 now. So a long time ago since then, she's been on Telegram. So we don't see so much of her um, now, um, which is a shame because it's, it's quite fun to report on her BS. But mainly it, it's a great thing because it means that um, she's not on many other platforms uh, duping people but there's still a tremendous amount of people following her on on telegram so um recently uh i you know come across a video of her on telegram and i wanted to kind of go through that today and afterwards i wanted to you know present some of the the parody uh the intel lady who you know is a great uh satire channel parody channel and a good friend of mine um, she she then parodied this video, which we're going to have a quick look at now, and I'll show some of that at the end. And and please, after you've watched this, go and watch the full video of that because it is hilarious. So without further ado, let's get into what Claire has said recently. Hi guys, how you doing? It's Claire, the Great British Bird. Sorry for um, not being in a position where I could do lots of recordings at the moment, but we've been doing different kinds of work, which is more uh, working with um, non-mainstream media and um, really great journalists that actually are not getting funded by Davos or getting... Recently you've been working with non-mainstream media. Does that mean that you were working with mainstream media before or you're just putting it out there as a... 
guys, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm as you know, I'm working with uh, non-mainstream media just to put that out there again to kind of you know <laughs> draw you in um, to 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 whatever narrative I'm about to spin. I don't know, but and then she says um, about Davos. And and Davos is basically a, a week long event um, that's, that's hosted annually that brings together like two hundred two thousand five hundred heads of state and government, business CEOs, um, civil society representatives, global media, youth leaders from all around the world, um, and is linked to the uh, World Economic Forum. Uh, so this 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 event is, is what she's talking about. Whenever she references Davos throughout this video, that's what she's referencing. And again. Um, for me, this is kind of, you know, uh, it's like a buzzword. Uh, she'll keep saying Davos to be like, you know, we're against the world. We're against the World Economic Forum uh, or she is against the World Economic Forum. And I'll bring that to your attention because and it, it, that, that's the way I see it. And, you know, the whole idea behind this 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 uh, this year, annual annual meeting is is to they say work together to uh, rebuild trust and shape the principles, policies and partnerships needed to meet the challenges of 2022. Now, don't get me wrong. Um, you know, I am not backing uh, the annual event of Davos or the World Economic Forum by any stretch, by any stretch of imagination. Um, but nor do I uh, back, you know, anything. I I'm not anti what she's saying in terms of. Uh, you know, child trafficking, uh, satanic ritual abuse, or any of these matters. But these, just remember, uh, are buzzwords and buzz topics that play on the heartstrings, and people will back her because she's bringing up these topics that are important to to others. Um, that that's what I want to frame here. You know, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I, I'm not anti what she is apparently championing for. I am anti lying about it. Simple as that. Or getting funded by um, agencies, let's say. We're, we're talking about real people here yeah, that actually genuinely do want the truth out there. Um, uh, the reason why I'm actually asking everybody to listen to my video today, because I just wanted to know, would anybody else like to just do a bit of investigating for me? Um, I don't want to make any assumptions about this yet, because I don't think that's the right thing to do. However, it's been brought to my attention. There is a company out there, a media company. Um, and <laughs> I'm wondering, first of all, if there's anyone out there, she says, um, who wants to do the research for me. and. <laughs> she's making this video without doing the research but she you know uh, let's see what she says around that and then she says i don't want to make any assumptions about this yet because i don't think that's the right thing to do and yet she makes an assumptions video which we're seeing now <laughs> um where she's asking people to investigate and she'll keep repeating i don't want to make assumptions i don't want to uh, and, you, and you'll see this but um, and then, uh, you know, she's you, you'll see what she's going to do. She's going to put out names. She's going to put out assumptions. And then she's going to keep repeating. I don't I didn't want to make assumptions about this. Right. OK. <laughs> it's been brought to my attention. There is a company out there, a media company um, and um, the media company in question has some quite significant people working in it. And. What has been told to me, and as I say, I can't say this is fact yet, but what has been told to me is that they have links with other things that are quite important. So I don't want you to put two and two together and make five. But what I would say to you is um, it's been brought to my attention that I think you should look into this company. So <laughs> um, it, she's been told that um, they've got certain links to things, right? She's been told this but she doesn't want to put two and two together and make 17 of course and and uh that's the reason for this this video um it, it's just terrible uh, it's it, it's terrible researching it's terrible and um, it's terrible to put out this that video without doing the research behind it and it's it's all about for me it's just all about attention and and uh clout I, I, I don't see another way to describe that. Um, and, and having her team of followers go out and do do some research. And I, I, you know, I do wonder, I, I'll, I'll be interested 
and I'll be watching for what research they come up with and what she puts out next about this because, you know, um, it, it, in all likelihood, it's going to be some dead ends and it's going to have, you know, she's going to have brought up names, which you will see her say in a minute. And uh, and all of this speculation, accusations almost, uh, for nothing. So the company is called Tortoise Media in London. And there's three main uh, directors. One of them um, was at Dow Jones as the president of Dow Jones. And uh, she is now doing talks at Davos. And the other guy uh, is working there is James Harding, and he uh, comes from the BBC background. And then the third person that I think you ought to look into is a guy called Matthew Barzen. Matthew is um, from the United States, and he worked with Obama in 2008. So I think it's quite important you look into three, these three and look into the history through Companies House of where the company was set up. Look into everything that they're doing and the investments they're getting and do any research you can do and then come back to me. So look into these guys. I mean, the, the third person, she said, worked with Obama. OK, but, you know, <laughs> although, you know, you can go down some rabbit holes there. And, you know, certainly it could be something to look into. You know, Obama's hairdresser, um, you know, the, the person uh, that, that worked the till in his local supermarket, not that he probably ever did his own shopping, but, you know, it, anyone that's out, like, just because you are linked to someone who may be, be dodgy um, doesn't always mean that you are. Saying that, um, sometimes it is worth, looking down those routes now she's asking everyone else to go and look down those routes and not only that look at investments um investments that are coming in for these people and you know i i only did a, a brief skim research uh on this a very 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 brief i could go a lot deeper but i'm not going to bother because i'm not going to go and do her research for her she's done no research like someone's told her something and she's gonna made this video and i don't think that that's right um she's then asking everyone else to go and do research and i you know like i said i did a little bit but you know why should i do more than that because she's historically being absolutely full of crap and she's made accusations not only is she basically making accusations here in this video she's made accusations against me against many others um she she has said many things without backing up with any evidence and you, here you can see she's on you know, doing a video saying, hey, guys, can you go and dig out some evidence for me? Look into these investments. What investments? Because if you had some sort of, you know, information about any sort of investments or anything, she's asking you to go and look at Companies House. She could have easily done that. It could have taken her five to ten minutes. And just talk about investment. What investments? Because you can't say that, there's, you know, OK, if she would have said something like, um, can you guys look at if there is any kind of investments or dodgy dealings there? That would be good. I'm not, but she's not. She's saying, you know, that's not how she's putting it. What I would like to say to you is that um, there's certain stories that they've put forward recently because they have got quite a lot of pull behind them. And some of the journalists that are working under them, the freelance journalists, um, they're desperate to sort of... Um, be involved in in their firm so what i would say to you is that one of the cases I've, I've noticed and i've watched recently because i'm heavily involved in it is the hampstead case and uh, obviously i have seen the evidence and i have a lot of the evidence and what surprises me is so i'm not going to go too much into the hampstead case i did look into this uh, a long time ago um, very compelling case. I watched all of the interviews with the children. The, the Hampstead case was basically a case of alleged um, sa satanic ritual abuse, um, sexual abuse of, um, you know, the, these two um, children. In the end, the case was thrown out. It was around a mother and father, and apparently the father had been doing dodgy things to his children, and um, he was part of this ring, this satanic ritual abuse ring, with the school involved and the community involved. And um, the mother came forward with her boyfriend to, to expose all of this, uh, along with the children giving statements. And, uh, it, you know, it, tur it turned out... 
um, you know, or, or, or this is the official narrative um, that the the children were going along with a story concocted by the mother and the the boyfriend, right? Um, I did look into this. I won't. I'm not going to go too much into it. I, I think with, it's a massive sidetrack. Um, do your own research over that. Come to your own conclusions. I'm not going to go too too far down that rabbit hole. But um, she says she's been working heavily with the Hampstead case. She's not been working heavily with the Hampstead case. Um, the mother, the, the mother and the boyfriend who apparently coaxed these children into saying such, you know, vile things happened to them. And, you know, had they happened to them? Um, it, when I looked into this, you know, I, I, I had to come to the conclusion that it, it was extremely likely that the official narrative on this and the official investigations were... Uh, perhaps true. I, I'm not going to rule out that it's still not. However, she had been contacted by the mother, who springs back up in 2022 and, and wants to talk about it again. My name is Ella Gareva, aka Draper, and uh, I'm the mother of Alisa and Gabriel. Uh, the uh, infamous uh, case, uh, the infamous Hampstead case. And uh, in um, September 2014, children disclosed uh, the horrific allegations of uh, satanic ritual abuse, uh, which included um, blood drinking, sacrifices, and infant, infants uh, murdering, and uh, many other things, um, sexual child abuse, um, organ trafficking, child trafficking, yeah. uh, snuff movie making, child pornography, all of it. And it's um, at the moment, it's one of the biggest case um, where um, the unique thing about it that um, the uh, children witnesses uh, came forward and disclosed um, the situation that's happening actually right now, well, at the time of the disclosure. And I assume actually it's still going on right now yes. because no nobody um, investigated the case. No. Well, it was closed down, the case, wasn't it? I mean, yeah, now... Like I said, do your own research on that. Go into that, but that is what she's. That's where this um, being heavily involved in the the Hampstead case comes from. I suppose you, you could say talking to to the person who made the initial accusations and you know was dismissed um, for lying about them. Um, you know, I suppose that you could you could uh, count that as being involved, uh, heavily involved. Um, but yeah, that's where she's at with that. She did an interview with Ella, who was the mother of these two children that were allegedly, um, you know, abused. Now, there's hours worth of research for you to do if you want to look into that case. And uh, I'm not going to go further down that rabbit hole. I'll leave it for you guys to do your own research there. But, you know, that's where that's coming from. Why would a media company of, of this sort, an alternative media company, supposedly of this sort, with connections to Davos and connections to the BBC, because that's where he worked, one of them, and James Harding, that is, and um, Katie, who is part of the stock market and background, and obviously, you know, former president of Dow Jones. These are quite hefty people that are involved in a media company. It would seem to me, and as I say, I might be wrong about this, but you might, you may very well be wrong about this. And, and I'm all for seeking the truth. I'm all for, you know, putting things out there and ask, you know, so I, I suppose in that respect, you know, she's not too wrong. Making a video about it and being someone that's followed um, and believed by so many people, you know, you could see it as maybe a bit um irresponsible um she says she may be wrong about this she's talking about this media company she says there's lots of heavy players involved usually when it comes to media companies or any big companies there are big players involved and um you know a lot of big players uh as she puts it you know could um have dodgy ties or dodgy dealings i you know uh, she, that's fair However, you know, if you look into any media company, it's very likely you're going to find someone, uh, you know, people with money because that's how they get funded. So, you know, to to assume that if you're going to assume that you would then automatically assume that any media company is going to be dodgy with dodgy ties and, and things, uh, which 
you could make an argument for. However, what's new? Why this one? Uh, well, let's let's let her continue. I would look at this and think, is this the new media company, or is it because the old media system is going to go to shit? Because obviously they're proving what was happening. So was this set up in 2020, 21? Because really they knew the shit was going to hit the fans. So it was a way of going forward. I mean, I look at GBB News and I look at this company and I'm starting to wonder. These are really heavy players that are involved in this. How do they get? How would somebody that works with Obama end up? being in this media company and very how, easily how would somebody that was obviously a former president of dow jones be in a media company that was set up with 500 and 600 thousand on crowdfunding or something like that and then obviously get huge investments now from other companies i don't feel something adds up but i might be wrong about this and that's why i'm saying i don't want anybody to put two and two together and make five or six i'm asking you to do your own research and then look into davos because obviously i believe katie's there doing talks anyway so what does that tell you that a media company that has just done a huge spread on ella at the hampstead case again which let's be fair she hasn't seen her kids for six or seven years. She doesn't even know where they are. And n none of the information that was put out there, other than the fact the case got closed after the court case, everything got shut down. You know, all the evidence she had, it's never really been dealt with and she's not really been able to get her day in court. So um, I think the time's going to come and she will have a day in court. But what's important is... I think you need to look into that media company. Okay, so Tortoise Media. And you've got James Harding. You've obviously got um, Katie Vanek and Matthew Barzan. Just look into them and look at what ties they've got and what links with companies. You know, when something's too good to be true, it's usually because it's fucking bullshit. And what I would suggest to you, and I might be wrong here, but, you know, you can put diamonds on a turd, but it's still a fucking turd, isn't it? I'm starting to smell a rat, but that's only my assumption. And I don't want to ever say anything that might not be true. But what I do know is true is who those directors are. So you could put diamonds on a turd, but it's still an effing turd, isn't it? Uh, charming. Um, Claire Hocken 2022. Quote it. She's starting to smell a rat, but that's only her assumption. And she doesn't know if that is true. Um, but what she does know who is true is those are the names that are connected with that media group. Now, I am not categorically saying that this is not something that shouldn't be looked into. My questions are around why she didn't look into them themselves herself before um, coming on to camera to talk about this and naming names um and making some accusations about that and then claiming she's not making accusations um my question is around her logic behind a lot of it um uh, you know i just I, I found it irresponsible i find it um <laughs> uh, likely for clout and for trying to drum up this kind of uh narrative that she's she's exposing these things she's not She's asking you to do research and please come up with something to to prove her uh, accusatory manner. Correct. Now, saying that, um, I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go and do some more research on these names. Um, I could have done it before this video. I felt that, that it warranted uh, what we had. What I had through watching that was enough to warrant my reaction here. And if people dig out that these people are really bad people, uh you know, and there's evidence there, then then fair enough. Uh, and actually, you know, even though I still think it was irresponsible to make the video in that manner, I, you know, I'll say hats off to you. I'm asking you to look into that. And I'm also asking anybody that feels that they've got evidence on this firm or anything that needs to be said to me, please get in touch with me. Um, so, guys, you know, if you do go and look into that, and I said now I'm, kind of not, I'm not asking you guys to go and look into that. If you do look into that and you find something, make sure you share it with us so we, we you know, I can make an update on this. However, it, it just seems um, like a stab in the dark and a kind of confirmation bias type. 
um, video to to put out there to kind of make people go, oh yeah, look how much she's digging into this. She's not. She's asking you guys to dig into something that she's heard about. Um, I did find this post um, by by Claire on her Telegram channel quite humorous. <laughs> she says, "Please can I ask if you are wishing to post on GBB? Please post news." not just slander as that's not what we're about thanks claire <laughs> that's rich that is rich um and, and the stuff that she said um about so many people uh, but about me as well i mean come on now <laughs> unfortunately um you know i don't have the tools to physically do something like you're claiming that you do regarding, you know, saving children from deep underground military bases, right? What I do have the capacity to do is what I am doing, and I'm doing a very good job of it. And you seem to be extremely worried about how good a job I am doing of that. This fucker that set up this group is working for a style organisation that's funded by the fucking paedophiles. By the way, Dan. Right. We call you Darren. I'm not interested in you. This lot, is right? another person I'm in our group. The monkey, not the fucking organ grinder. All right, so just step the fuck aside. M seeker, you know I'm coming for you. And I'm, I'm coming for you. Today, all right, I'm so coming I'm for you now. I'm going to make sure that you are brought down because you're working in a good organisation and you're fucking the job up for security for Great Britain because you're making that name of that organisation look bad and you know they're not bad. You're Cut. fucking rogue. By the way, you know what? I'm kind of flattered that she thinks that I'm such a big shot in intelligence and the security of our country. Um, however, it is just more, it's just like, you know, it's come straight from Charlie. You know, there's no stock behind it. And please prove me wrong because you can't. Uh, there is no stock. I'm a normal guy. Like all of you out there watching me right now, I'm a normal guy that with a normal life, right? That has. It, has the capacity to do what I'm doing and and feels very strongly about helping people in this shit show of a position, you know, of this world that we're in right now. There's so many people now waking up, I say, or diet woke, you know, and listening to many people that are profiting off of the how scared people are to be woken up. And uh, Charlie Ward is is one of the worst ones. And I clearly had evidenced my own concerns. I didn't say 30 reasons to whatever. I didn't say 30 reasons to. I said 30 reasons why I don't trust him. Listen to them. Then, then, then do what you will with that information. Many people have gone, you know what? Great work. Great, great research. Um, you, <laughs> there's something there. And these people are running scared right now. Um, how come you're not mentioning about who your boss works for, Darren? How come you're not mentioning who M Seeker is? Let's just ask you that. I'm not bothered about Charlie, right? I don't give a fuck what you want to do with him. I'm talking about innocent children that you're going after. Why aren't you meant? I'm talking about innocent children you're going after. Where? where? Evidence, please, Claire. Evidence. Any, any shred, single little piece of evidence. Anything. It's the little piece. Or is it a buzzword? Or is it you're going after children? Lots of people are like, oh, right, okay, she's the good guy because she said they're going after children. Never, ever have I done anything, you know, evidence, please. That's all I'll say on that. Ridiculous. Name, ridiculous. Who MC because boss is. Who's my boss? That, Darren, because you fucking know who it is, don't you? Darren okay. doesn't have a clue. Actually, You've but he's a supporter of my work. Really, really, you damned yourself, all of you. You've damned yourself because you know we fucking won this war. So we are definitely going to make sure. And I who's we? Sure I've got a breath in my. You mean the grifter body. circle? I will uncover you lot for what you are. I've already sent this to Charlie and everybody else. That's right. I've I'm Paul. Sent it to my American friends. 
You Your American friends, huh? Going down, and I don't mean not legally. I mean legally. The paedophiles, Darren. Right, no problem with that. You know, I'm fucking against paedophiles. It's what I fight for in the country. That's great British bird. That's what I'm all about. But tell me something. Why are you not telling everybody on here that MC is getting funded by the same organisation that's running our country? Why aren't you telling anyone, Darren? Why aren't you telling everyone the truth? Hey. Again, you know. Um... Darren only only is in in my group because of he appreciates the work as many many people do and more and more people are and that's why these people are scared. Why don't you, Darren, um, tell everyone who my boss is? Because Darren doesn't know who my boss is. My boss doesn't know what I'm doing. Yes, I do work. I have a full time job. I'm a normal person. I don't do this. Um, you know, I am not like you know that whole circle or the Charlie Warden or that who make a living this you know when have i ever said guys cash at me you know i've never asked for money never that's not what i get out of this what i get out of this is is helping people what i get out of this is showing where people are lying to you and i stick to that i stick to that i go look here's fact a and here's fact b yeah i don't start saying yes but we know that claire is such and such private message me i'll give you that information i know that charlie is such and such i no i said he said this this didn't happen chill tell everybody on here the truth who he is getting paid by if you don't think you know who i am donald trump's in fucking scotland in two weeks so how the fuck would i know that you <laughs> i can't wait to see her uh, in a picture with donald trump in two weeks time claire i can't wait to see that um, we're, we're, all, we're all waiting for your confirmation of uh, you knowing Donald Trump. Huh? So let's see you deal with that one. Stop hiding behind fake fucking profiles. Put your facial pictures on like I've done. There's no lies about me. The great British bird there to empty dumbs and go after fucking pedophiles. You lot are hiding behind signs that you're not even yourself, are you? That should show every 230 people that's on this group that you're lying twats, all of you. You know you are getting funded by the same organisation that's protecting fucking Matt Hancock. Yeah, that's not what we're all about. Um, I don't know about that, Claire. Um, you know, you, you seem to very much enjoy slandering people. Yeah, so anyway, I'll, I'll leave that there. But I do always find, you know, Claire Hocking Oakle, Great British Bird, Great British Tid, um the you know the great british foul however you want to whatever you want to call her i do always find you know her her information her logic her content whatever she puts out interesting especially when it was about me um that that was that was extremely interesting uh but yeah anyway uh, so i watched this and an intel lady also watched this who uh, you guys probably know by now if you've been watching me is a good friend of mine another content creator she creates satire pieces parody pieces on charlatans liars you know i expose them uh charlatans liars um people that are, are selling lies uh in in the you know the truth of community intel lady she she parodies them and she does a brilliant job so let's look at her take on this video check it out i've been very busy at the moment i'm sorry i've not been on as much but i've, I've had a lot going on um i've been in and out of those dumps like a rat up a drain pipe saving the male children and you know putting them on med beds and that um so i have been busy right i've also been asked to take part in and to work on the Hampstead case despite the fact that I haven't got a single legal qualification to my name and um, they just I think they just want the muscle you know just want the, they, do, they want the gob and um, because I don't stand for any nonsense and I think that they appreciate that in a person and um, so they've asked me to insert myself into that case not getting paid for and doing that out of the kindness of my heart because I'm a good person okay so and I've got contacts with loads of people Right. So um, I need you to do some research for me. Uh, you lot are so good. You, you great keyboard warriors. And, and I trust your research. And I'm not asking you to put two and two together and make 17, despite the fact that that is one of my favourite numbers. And I, under usual circumstances, I'd be quite pleased. But this time I need you to get it right. OK, so I'm going to give you this. There's three names that I'm going to give you. And they're working for a Davos 
um, type media company. I only work with independent media companies. I don't trust the Davos really, the ones. OK, uh, boss, the three people that I need you, that the first person is um, he's got links to the BBC, very strong links with the BBC. He's worked with the BBC for a long time. OK. Um, and he goes by the name of Mr. Tumble. All right. Uh, Mr. Tumble um, is 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 uh, hangs around with children way more than you would, uh, you know, expect a grown adult to. Um, and I find that quite uncomfortable. And he wears really bright clothes sometimes. Uh, and I think that is to hypnotize them. I think that's a hypnosis technique that he's learned um, with all the brainwashing techniques that they teach them. Uh, so I don't like him. He is involved with Myrtle the Turtle Media. That's the, the media company that you've got to investigate. So it's Myrtle the Turtle Media, Mr. Tumble, uh, with links to the BBC. So it's already dodgy. This is a, a dodgy picture already being formed here. OK. Second person is a stateside. She's a lady stateside. Um, and she's quite volatile. Um, she she could go off at any time. Uh, and, she, you know, she's got a lot of links to a lot of dodgy people. Um, and she's called Sarah Connor. OK, she's a little bit obsessed with weaponry. OK, um, and the sort and she's got a lot. And she's 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 got quite a lot. And the sort of people that she gets them from are very underground and dodgy. OK, and she's obsessively moving around the country. So it's really hard to pin her down. That's why I need the keyboard warriors to try and find her. OK, and the third person is it's another woman. She's stateside. Well, the jury's out on whether she's a woman or not. She goes by the name of Ripley. She is in, involved in a secret space program and she works a lot with ghosts and aliens. And uh, we all know anybody who's read the Bible as much as I have. And, you know, thanks. To, thank you, Glenda. Big, big up Glenda, who's given me the, the Bible lessons. Um, anybody who, who understands the Bible fully will know that there's no such thing as aliens or ghosts. And it's all fallen angels, right? demons and fallen angels. So um, she's putting out this. It's a disinformation campaign. As Ripley's putting out there that, that these things exist. And she also knows Obama. She's been at parties with him. And uh, and I, I anyone who's got links with Obama, you know, even if you've just waved at him from the side of the streets, you need investigating as far as I'm concerned. So there's links to Obama that, that, that uh, I think are, are, are dodgy and need looking at. And, uh, you know, and, and links to the, this fake program that they're putting out there that aliens exist. Right. So you lot are great. Uh, you're great researchers and, and I really would appreciate your help on this because you know what? You, you can put diamonds on a turd, but it's still a turd. And I've got a lot of diamonds, right? Uh, and, you know, I'm the great British turd. Boss, I do need your help. OK, um, I'm not suggesting I'm going to give you any diamonds, though. So, you know, don't get too excited. But if you wouldn't mind doing that for me, I would really, really appreciate it. So, guys, that was some of Intel Lady's video on the Great British Turd. Um, if you like that, um, please make sure you go over. There's a link in the description. Go watch the full video because that wasn't the full video. Uh, go leave it a like. Go leave it a comment. Um, but importantly, subscribe to her channel. Share it out to your friends, especially if your friends are subscribed to the Great British Turd. Um, guys, I hope you like this video. And uh, I do hope to see you on the next one. Uh, until then, follow MC Guru Truth. And I don't give a fuck about anybody else other than the innocent kids. You want to do whatever you want to do, that's fine. But don't go after innocent kids. because This is her tagline. You know, you do what you want to do. I am here for the innocent kids. And you do what you want, but don't go after innocent kids. It's manipulation. It's like kind of a, almost reverse psychology. It's just like, I'm here for the kids. They abuse kids. Um, you know, and, and people will magnetise to that because people are like, oh, well, I'm here for the kids. I'm on your side, Claire. <laughs> and I'll Bollocks. fucking come after you. You fucking liar. You're getting funded and you're a liar. And that's what I'm going to prove now. I'm going to make Go on, sure then. I get that paper trail. Go on, I then. Prove it. Prove it. Go for it.
what I can prove is um, what I'm proving now, which is you are unhinged. Um, what I can prove and will prove is that you will come up with nothing. What I can prove and will prove is that these are lies. What I can prove and will prove is all of this stuff that you're feeding your followers. You're no better than the rest of these grifters. Yeah. I'll prove that. Okay, because we... I'm coming after you and that fucking Byron as well. By the time I finish with you, you won't know which way you're fucking shitting out of. Right? Ever!